And acting now means taking at least the same amount of political will, civil service resource and legislative time that's been spent on Brexit and applying that to the climate and ecological emergency. It means a two-year parliamentary session with a Queen's speech focused entirely on climate and ecology, cancelled recesses and these endless statutory instruments. It means strong and far-ranging manifesto commitments from all the political parties which are then implemented obsessively for years to come. We're acting for the future of our planet, for the future of humanity, for the future of our children and our grandchildren. We're acting for the needs of nearly 8 billion humans on Earth, along with millions of other species with whom we share our home. And acting now also means serious enforcement, serious legislation. It means massive state intervention in huge market failures, radical taxation and subsidies, nationalisation of certain industries, and the creation of a million climate jobs. It means zero carbon homes, enormous green infrastructure projects, and forging happier, healthier lives with a much smaller footprint on the earth. It also means banning fracking, writing off huge fossil fuel reserves. I do advise any peers who've got fossil fuel investments to get rid of them now. And it's six minutes. I'm going to end. I would say that Greta Thunberg made the point that we should be panicking. And personally, I've been panicking for years. A friend of mine once said that my worst character flaw was saying, I told you so. And I want to say to the House today, I told you so. And we've got to get on and actually make